I want to talk to you guys about GoPro audio. GoPro has copped a lot of flack over the last couple models of its GoPro, including the Hero 6. Now, the reason being is a lot of people don't understand the advanced features that are in these GoPros. When you understand how these features work, and I'm gonna make an entire video dedicated to this to get the best optimal performance out of your GoPro, but when you understand how they work, you can get some fantastic results. When you don't understand how they work and you expect it to just automatically happen for you, that's when you're gonna run into problems. And this is what I did to my latest video. I also want to share that knowledge with everyone who might be using these products so they can get the best out of their videos. When I woke up this morning, my video had something like 1,700 views and it had five dislikes in 12 hours. Now that's a lot for me. Five dislikes in 12 hours is is not that common on my channel. And it's strictly down to the audio. People process audio more than they process the visual. You can get away with an average looking video if the audio quality is great and you're telling a good story and, and all the other bits and pieces. But audio, for me, is number one. On the GoPro, uh, its microphone is extremely sensitive to noise and it has some very sophisticated software in it that allows it to automatically adjust the level of noise it's hearing to bring out the most dominant and important thing, like your voice. So I film around water a lot. If I don't talk, the GoPro will pick up the audio from the water and project that into the foreground. That's the most dominant sound and it's the thing that it's going to enhance the most. If I then start talking, it will take a few seconds to switch over to my voice as the most dominant sound and it will actually lower the sound of the creek or the river behind me. Now this is where a lot of people don't understand it, is that there is a gain, there is a, there is a time frame that this happens in and it doesn't happen straight away. It's a few seconds where the software has to figure out what is the most dominant noise. And this is where I made a mistake. What you're hearing right now, the audio is coming through a very good professional microphone. And again, I've adjusted it because if I let you guys hear what this would sound like without adjusting it, it would be extremely loud for the overall video. So let's do a little bit of a test. This is unedited audio. This is edited audio. That's the difference between the two. And I had to make sure on my latest video that I edited the sounds of my DSLR camera down because it was picking up the creak noise to an extremely loud pitch and it was very painful on the ears. So I rendered the whole video down to negative 12 dB. And this is the same frequency you would hear on a TV show. And it basically allows for very comfortable viewing on most platforms like my laptop, a TV, a gaming console, anything where you have a very large range of volume control, you will get good audio quality from negative 12 dB. The problem that I had though is I switched to my GoPro. Now the GoPro itself, because it has automatic audio adjustment in it, basically dulled down my voice to a point in certain points in my film that you could hardly hear it on a mobile phone because you don't have the same level of control. Now I watch all my videos before I put them out into the world uh, and it was absolutely fine. I actually had to watch the video on six out of a hundred on my laptop uh, just to, just to get it to a comfortable level, which normally gives you more than enough adjustment in that, in that range for you to comfortably up or down it on a mobile phone, the audio level to your viewing pleasure. But this case, going negative 12 dB and the GoPro having to deal with extremely loud creak noises in the background, dulled it down to a point where in certain points on a mobile phone, you can't hear it. And 50% of my viewers watch my videos on a mobile phone and that's the main problem I ran into. I want to demonstrate what I'm talking about when I say that the GoPro has a sophisticated audio system that allows it to pick up the most prominent and dominant sound and amplify it and cut out background noise. I'll put you in the GoPro and we'll do a little bit of a test. Now you're in the GoPro, obviously the field of view has changed and the picture quality has probably changed, but that's not what we're here for. What you're hearing right now is an unedited version of my voice. 
if I was to make a loud noise, it would automatically pick that loud noise up and try and dull it down a little bit so that your eardrums would be saved when you're watching it on a computer later on and you wouldn't have to edit that sound. The big problem with this is if you don't allow enough time after those loud noises, then you will have a gain in your voice where the loud noise has been muted so much that when your voice comes in, your voice is extremely muted until the GoPro relearns to pick up your voice again. And then what will happen is your voice will start dominating and all the background noise will fade out. What I'm gonna do is demonstrate this to you in two different ways. I'm gonna make a loud noise next to the GoPro and you can hear my voice get dulled down and then brought back in as the software relearns my voice. And then I'm gonna put some loud background noise in and talk over the top of it. And you should be able to hear how the GoPro takes my voice as the dominant thing and pushes that background noise out. This is the first test where I'm gonna make a loud noise near the GoPro. Now, all I'm gonna do is tap the case of the GoPro because the microphone is so sensitive that it'll be counted as an extremely loud noise to it. And then I'm gonna talk immediately after it. And what you should hear is my voice slowly come back into focus. All right, here we go. Can you hear me now? Has my voice changed? Is it coming back? These are the things that you've got to learn to deal with. And this is exactly what I did wrong in my video, was that when I leveled everything to negative 12 dB, everything in this stage where I might have bumped the case, I turned the camera around, I picked it up out of the water or whatever, it was already dull because of those loud noises. And then I dulled it further by putting it onto that negative 12 dB. I should have waited a few seconds, talked to it, and then it would have picked my voice up. Let's put some background noise in and see if we can't get you to hear my voice over the top of it. What I've got here is a YouTube music video and we're gonna put that on as background noise and then I'm gonna talk over the top of it. So here we go. Now, what you should eventually start hearing is my voice coming in over the top of that mobile phone playing because the GoPro will be recognizing my voice as the dominant thing as opposed to the music. And this goes for anything that you might be doing out in the wilderness on a street. So if you're on a street with a GoPro and you want to do a vlog session, what you want to be doing to your camera before before you start vlogging is talking to it, say testing, 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 talking, talking, talking. And what that will do is allow the GoPro to pick your voice up, put it to the forefront, and you won't get that traffic noise or the creak noise or the wind or whatever it might be in the background. And so that's where I went wrong. I, I leveled it. So all the audio is nice. All the audio is level. And if you watch it on a TV or a laptop, you're not going to have any issues at all. But because a lot of my audience watch it on mobile phones, then they didn't have the same level of volume control as what people on laptops, computers, and TVs have. And I've got a lot of negative feedback about it. Now, the part that really irritates me, that irks me, and it, this is something very personal. It's not something that is... Um, controllable. I'm going to learn from this experience. I'm going to make sure that I then in the future test my videos on a mobile phone before I upload them. The problem that I have is that that video is actually really good and difficult to make at the same time. It's rare that I have a day with post-traumatic stress disorder where I feel normal. And that was a day I felt normal. I went out and I got to do everything I wanted to do, like have an absolute blast of a time without those negative thoughts without those negative feelings and emotions and everything else that comes with this disease i was so proud of it i spent six six to seven hours editing that video um, and i was really excited to upload it and i did some really cool transitions and stuff that i'd never done before and to have it shut down that quickly you know in a very short amount of time and so many people putting negative comments and stuff about it it, it hurts you can't pretend that it doesn't hurt the the thing is that for me that was a full day's worth of work not just on the creek but editing and and putting my heart and soul into it and to top it off i was dealing with a subject following a bushfire layer which is what gave me my person ptsd um it, that following that subject and talking about it on camera and being feeling normal about it was a huge step for me it was very very difficult so to get all this negative feedback was hard to hear because that feedback can make your videos and your artwork and your creations that much better and that's what's going to do for me but i like again 
I can't pretend that it didn't hurt because of those other reasons. And that's got nothing to do with my subscribers or my viewers. That's got everything to do with me and how I feel about it and how I deal with things. I'm glad that I got the feedback. I'm glad that I worked out what the issue was. And I'm very glad it gave me the opportunity to explain some of the GoPro audio problems um, because that's going to help myself and it's going to help a lot of other YouTubers out there who watch this video and understand now more about the GoPro audio. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace and I'm out.